Just when we thought SpaceX had hit a roadblock with the recent Starship launch test failure, they're back with another mission. In less than two weeks since that dramatic event, Falcon Heavy rocket lit up the skies over the Space Coast Sunday evening as it launched from Kennedy Space Center, carrying a communications satellite into space for Viasat. Engines full power and lift off of Viasat 3. Go Viasat, go Falcon Heavy. Heavy rain and winds have plagued the area all week, with teams having to stand down from two different attempts earlier in the week. The team called off the April 26th launch opportunity in order to complete data reviews, and so an April 27th launch attempt was set with weather 60% favorable. 60% favorability quickly turned to 20%, placing a launch on April 27th in serious jeopardy. SpaceX focused on an April 30th launch date. Although there were concerns about ground winds, the weather had significantly improved, enabling Falcon Heavy to successfully take off. The countdown for SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket started when the launch director gave the go to load fuel at T-53 minutes. They began putting fuel in the rocket three minutes later. When there were seven minutes left before takeoff, they started cooling down the engines to get them ready for launch. The launch director gave the final go for launch at T-45 seconds. Falcon Heavy took off at 8.26 p.m. with its 27 powerful engines lighting up the night sky in Florida. The rocket flew without problems through the hardest part of the flight, or Max-Q, separated its boosters and turned off its main engine. Then the second part of the rocket burned three times before releasing three satellites, Viasat-3, Gravity Space's GS-1, and Astranus's Micro-Geo. It's truly impressive to see how quickly SpaceX has bounced back after the Starship launch test failure. Demonstrating their resilience and determination, the team at SpaceX is proving that even after a major setback, they're ready to move forward and continue pushing the boundaries of space exploration. The Viasat-3 America's satellite is a 14,000 pound or 6,400 kilograms broadband satellite that will be operated by California-based company Viasat. The Falcon Heavy rocket that is used in this launch boasts an impressive history. One of the side boosters has previously supported Arabsat 6A and three Starlink missions. The reuse of these boosters is a testament to SpaceX's commitment to making space exploration more sustainable and cost effective. The Falcon Heavy is currently the most powerful operational rocket in the world, capable of carrying up to 64 metric tons or 141,000 pounds to orbit. It consists of three strapped together first stages of SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket, with the central booster topped by an upper stage and the payloads. This unique configuration allows the Falcon Heavy to generate more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, which is equivalent to about 18,747 aircraft. The Falcon booster's adaptability allows for a range of flight plans depending on the payload weight and desired altitude. For the most economical flight plan, SpaceX can recover all three boosters, with the side pair performing a return to launch site maneuver and the center core landing on a drone ship. This approach has been attempted multiple times with varying degrees of success. Falcon Heavy has showcased a number of flight plans, some partially expendable. In November 2022 and January 2023, the side boosters made a return to the launch site, while the center core was expended during top-secret classified Space Force missions. Other possible scenarios include landing all three boosters on drone ships, or having two side boosters land at sea. Falcon Heavy's flexibility is one of its greatest strengths. Since its debut in February 2018 with the memorable test flight that sent SpaceX founder and CEO Musk's red Tesla Roadster into orbit around the sun, the Falcon Heavy has flown five times. The most recent launch was in January of this year, when it carried the classified USS F-67 mission for the U.S. Space Force. The next Falcon Heavy launch is scheduled for June 2023, followed by launches in July and October of the same year. Five more flights are scheduled for 2024. These future missions include the Psyche mission in October 2023 to explore a main belt asteroid, the Europa Clipper in October 2024 to study Jupiter's fascinating moon, and the delivery of the Lunar Gateway space station components beginning in December 2024. The next generation SpaceX Starship vehicle is currently under development, and it promises to revolutionize space exploration by offering unparalleled capabilities. 
While the Falcon Heavy remains the most powerful operational rocket for now, the Starship aims to surpass it, taking space travel to new heights and paving the way for ambitious missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. While the focus of SpaceX will eventually shift to Starship, the Falcon Heavy will always hold a special place in history as a thrilling stopgap measure between the Falcon 9 and Starship. Although it never reached its full potential, such as in the Artemis program, Falcon Heavy's contributions to space exploration are undoubtedly significant. Once fully operational, Starship will have the capability to carry up to 100 passengers or large cargo loads for missions to the International Space Station, the Moon, Mars, and even more distant destinations. It is expected to play a crucial role in NASA's Artemis program, providing the Lunar Gateway space station components and enabling sustainable human presence on the Moon. Furthermore, Starship's potential to facilitate crewed missions to Mars aligns with Elon Musk's long-term vision of colonizing the Red Planet and making humanity a multi-planetary species. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9 rocket launches being scrubbed and delayed in April may have been disappointing for those eagerly anticipating the event. However, the rescheduled successful launch provided another opportunity to witness the impressive capabilities of the Falcon Heavy rocket. The success of this mission is going to significantly impact global communications, with the Viasat-3 America's satellite expanding broadband capabilities, Arcturus providing increased data throughput for remote regions, and Gravity Space's GS-1 satellite pushing the limits of space technology. With a next launch date set for June, all eyes will be on SpaceX as they attempt to make history once again with their powerful Falcon Heavy rocket. If you enjoyed this coverage and don't want to miss any updates, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Together, let's witness history in the making as we explore the final frontier.